Hey guys, a great afternoon. Great afternoon. Listen, this is another episode of Books, Business, and Brunch. My co host will be joining me soon. So please stick around. We will be right back. We will be right back. Great afternoon. Great afternoon. Welcome. Welcome again to another episode of Turning Your Books into Business Part Three. Hey, Leslie. Hey, good to see you. Good to be back with you. Yes, yeah, same here. We missed you the last couple of weeks, but we know you were here. Yeah, we know you were under the weather. So I'm gonna try to see if I could get my I don't know, my lighting don't look too light over here, but we just go make it do what it do right now. So if you're joining us for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, everyone. Hi, uh, I'm Joan T. Randall. I am the founder and CEO of Victorious U Press, and we help uh, mission-driven entrepreneurs and career professionals to write and publish their books so they can monetize their impact, create multiple streams of income, and leave a legacy. That is what we do at Victorious U Press. We're affectionately known as the author's midwife. So we are here every Monday talking about books, business, and brunch. And today I have my coffee. And yes, I know I'm extra because I'm drinking my coffee with a straw, you but it is from the dentist <laughs> and got my teeth clean and I know coffee stains teeth so I'm trying not to stain my teeth after I just got a cleaning so I'm using a straw so that's what that is you but do you I do I do me right <laughs> so um I'm gonna turn it over to Leslie to introduce herself and we have a hot topic that we're gonna talk about today so if you're here for the first time or if you're just joining us and you know anybody who has written a book or want to write a book, we are talking about turning your book into a business. And can you do that? Yes, you can. We have been doing it now for the past. This is week three. So this is part three. But we're going to go back and show you a little bit about part one, part two, come back into part three and then tell you that Victorious U Press started their business this exact same way. So, yes. You can use a book and turn it into a business. And here's the thing. You don't have to leave your full-time job if you have a nine to five. You don't have to leave your career if you have a career. You can still do this as a passion project and you can do it on the side. So we want to tell you that. So Leslie, take it away. Tell the people a little bit about you. Hi there. Uh, my name is Leslie Cottrell and I'm Joan's partner and the director of operations at Victoria Shoe Press and an author coach which what does that mean? An author coach is someone who will work with you side by side from the inception of your project as you're trying to figure out what does it even look like? What does it feel like? What can I do with it? All the way through with planning out your book and then filling it in and making that book complete and then what comes next. So beyond publishing your book, we take you to the next steps, which that's what the last two weeks have been about. And week three, we're going to bring it all together this week. And I just want to encourage everybody as Joan dives into this, don't get overwhelmed. 
You can start small, take this in pieces. Don't feel like you have to digest the whole thing, but we want to bring you all the information so you can implement it, but don't get overwhelmed by all of it. Just take one step at a time. So back to you, Joan. All right. Awesome. So I want to take you back to week one. Well, two weeks ago when we talked about, can your book become a business? Can you use your book to start your business? Absolutely. And here is where um, week one was. So week one, I'm going to show you what we uh, shared with you. So week one, we talked about the why you should write, right? We talk about legacy, giving back, and you should hold the pen. Nobody else should hold the pen. Uh, we talked about when you should write. The answer is now. We talk about who should write, who should write. Anyone with a story, anyone with a message, anyone in a profession, anyone who's a business owner, anyone who is a ministry leader, especially you ministry leaders and missionaries and people over there, you are not using your knowledge and learned skills to help the world, right? Because you can't just help the world in your little area. You've got to think bigger. How do I get my message out to the world, right? So you're in the right place. If you're joining me today and you're a ministry leader or a business owner, business owner, every business owner must, M-U-S-T, write a book. Um, and then we talk about what should you write? Anything, your memoir, your biography, anything you have learned, anything that you know you have the knowledge about, a solution to a problem how to guide an inspirational guide your talent your gift your all of that can be taught your mission your ministry all of that should be in a book right and the last on the slide says i have a book already what can i do with it oh the same thing that we're teaching everybody else right so this was week one when we talked about it uh part one then i shared part two with you right i have the book now what so I want you to, I wanted you to think outside of the box, right? Because it is not a one size fits all. But if you have a book, you got to show up like you really want to use this book to drive a business. So, right, show up like an entrepreneur, right? You need a landing page or a website. You need to have a payment processor, whether it is Moon Clerk or Stripe or PayPal or Square. You've got to have a professional email, Right. So when you create your URL for your landing page, use that to make a professional email. So if it's Joan T. Randall dot com is my website, then my email would be Joan at Joan T. Randall dot com. Right. And then set up your social media pages and choose the page that you're most comfortable. Facebook and Instagram or Instagram and TikTok or LinkedIn and Facebook whatever you are most comfortable with, choose one or two platforms that you can monetize your book on, right? Then we talked about being visible. You can't write a book and then be invisible. You've got to show up, you got to show out, you got to show up and let people know that, hey, I have a product that can change your life. I have a product that can help you. So you've got to be visible, you've got to put the work in. And I remember last week I said, hey, this was the wrong spelling, but I still ain't change it, right? But that's okay. And then marketing. Marketing is your best friend. And marketing is storytelling for selling. All you're doing is telling the reason why you write the book. That's it, right? And there's digital marketing and there's email marketing, and that's foundation. Digital marketing is everything on social media, podcasts, all the places you show up online. Email marketing is sending email to people on your email list because it's important to connect with them. You own your email list. You don't own digital marketing, okay? And then what is your gift? So here are all the different things that you can write. We started it this way and we end part two this way. This is all of the different things that you can write as a nonfiction writer who is aspiring to write books or who already have books. And remember I said last week, even if you have one chapter in an anthology, it is still your book. You can still take that one chapter and turn it into a business, right? And now this week, we wanna talk about part three. So we're adding part three to today. You have the book, you wrote the book, or you're trying to write the book, you set up your landing page, you set up your, um, you know, your website, you have your URL, you have your payment processors, 
you have your Calendly link, right? So people can book a session with you for whatever, right? Because remember, your book is now the foundation for your business. So you, now you got to think like a bookpreneur. You got to think like an authorpreneur. You got to think like a business owner who is using their book to create multiple streams of income. So here we are, right? Here are all the different books that can be written from a nonfiction perspective, right? We have your memoir or your biography, anything that you have learned, so knowledge base, a solution to a problem, a how-to guide, an inspirational book, your talents and your gift, those innate abilities can be taught, mission or ministry, right? You can teach, you can write a book about that or anything that deals with business and training. So here are all the nonfiction, and there's a whole ton more, but these are the big categories under nonfiction books. So now that you have this book that you're written, you know what is the foundational things that you need to do. Now, how do we turn each of these books or the book that you have written into multiple streams of income? So if you're ready, we're ready to show you. Leslie, you ready? I am ready. And I just want to remind everybody before we dive into this, like it or not, if you wrote a book and you're going to publish a book, you are an authorpreneur. This, you've got to learn these skills. This is a part of it. And you may think, well, maybe a publishing company is going to pick me up. Then I don't have to do any of it. You still have to do it all. If you have a book, you're an authorpreneur. So the sooner you start to master these skills, the better off you're going to be. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. And I hope everybody can hear me loud and clear. For those of you that are watching, if you can hear me, just drop a yes in the chat. So I know you have us and we're not, you know, going in and out or anything fuzzy going on. All right. So let's get into the tea or the coffee. My coffee's almost done. Look at the color of my coffee. <laughs> Oh my God. Mm. It's like a latte. All right. So now that you have all of this stuff ready, let's show you how to turn these books into businesses. First one up on the list is our memoir. So many of us write a book about her, our life story and we just sit it there. It's like sitting on a shelf, right? You sold a lot at the beginning and now your book is sitting on a shelf. Well, wait a minute. There is a hundred... That's exaggerating, but there are a ton of different ways that you can use this book and create other streams of income so that it will help you build. Hey, Apostle, nice to see you so that it can help you build a business. All right. So you wrote a memory and a biography. The second thing you want to write is a workbook, whatever your book is about, right? I'll use myself as an example. My book is about domestic violence, right? And so writing this book about domestic violence, it was a range of emotions. If you read that book up and down, up and down, up and down, right? But there are things that you can pull out of your book and create other things with it, right? So you can call them pillars or you can call them, um, you know, ideas, or you can, whatever you want to call them, pull those main ideas out of your book and turn it into a workbook, right? Workbook. So that's the second thing, or one of the things that you can create a workbook. The other thing you can create is pillars from the stories, and each of them could be its own individual discussion points. So say you write a book about domestic violence, right? And one of the thing in the book is about the violence that you, ex you had experienced. How do you pull that part out of the book and then talk about how to overcome this? If you're in this situation, this is how you overcome. Here are some resources, right? So you can pull pillars from your stories to create discussion topics, and so once you do that, then you can turn those discussion topics into sessions. You can invite people to a coaching session and they have to pay you for the coaching session or one of the criteria to be a part of your coaching session is for them to buy the book and the workbook. Mm -hmm. That's an income stream, right? 
Then you can create online mini courses because here's the deal. If you are coaching a person, whatever the elements of that coaching session is, you can turn that into a mini course. And then guess what? Once you turn that into a mini course, you go right to your landing page, right? You add, whether it's Kajabi or one of these learning platforms on your landing page and load your mini courses onto the landing page and create a link and send that link, advertise that link for people to go on and buy your mini courses. And here's the thing about mini courses. It could be really a course for 60 minutes. It could be a 90 minute course. It could be a two hour course and you just price the courses based on the content. So I've seen mini courses for $19.99. I've seen them for $49.99. I've seen them for $99. I've seen them for $149 and so on and so forth. And here's the thing. When you create those mini courses, that is called evergreen, right? And that is, um, you just set it and leave it. And as you promote your book and your workbook and your coaching session and your mini courses, all you have to do is just send them to the link and people go to the link, click on your course page, and they can see all the different courses that you let, that you teach and they can buy it and take the course themselves. They don't need you, right? They don't need you to do any of those courses and it's just there. And they can choose whatever course they write. And guess what? That is called, uh, you don't have to do any work. What is that called again? Um, Leslie? Residual income. Residual income. Why? Yes. Because it's you're making money while you're sleeping because your courses are there. <clears throat> you must always have online products. Every book author, every bookpreneur, authorpreneur, everyone that writes a book should create online products, whether it is a hat, whether it is a pen, whether it is a book, whether it is a t-shirt, whether it's a postcard, whether it's bookmarks, but create online products because you already have your landing page, right? All you've got to do is find a drop shipping company, sign up for the drop shipping company. It's usually free. Um, uh, what do you call it? Integrate the drop shipping company link to your landing page. And so when people go to buy your products, the drop shipping company ships it for you and they take their portion and you get paid for your items, right? And you have drop shipping companies that can be integrated into most landing page and most website. And one of them I think is called a uh, printful. Printful is a well-known drop shipping company that will allow you to go on their platform, choose what you want, um, upload your logo or your sayings to the hats or the t-shirts or the sweatshirts. It gives you, it integrates with your um, landing page. And then when people go to your landing page, they will just see online store or you want to call it merchandise and they can buy your products without you having to do anything right? You can create workshops, bring together a core group of people, charge them or say, Hey, you can come to my workshop for free. As long as you bring the book and the workbook, you can do events, right? You can create podcasts from your memoir or your biography. And guess what? You can also do a documentary. And now it is so easy to do a documentary because all you've got to do, you don't need anybody to help you. Nobody at all. Get your phone, get a tripod, right? Get your phone and a tripod. And all you have to do is record short videos of yourself speaking into the camera and put it all together for your own documentary. And here is this um, brand new, like latest off the press. KDP Amazon is now turning eBooks into audiobooks. They have a beta program that just started about two weeks ago. So if you have an online ebook on KDP Amazon, they now have a audio program that you go in, you sign up, 
and Amazon creates the audio awesome. off of your ebook, and now you have an audiobook. Listen, before that, you would have to pay, you'd have to go into a studio, you'd have to read your book, record it. No, 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 no. Amazon KDP is now offering audiobooks for anybody who has an ebook online. So go check it out. All right. Because that also is another way of a stream of income on this one thing, your memoir or biography. I just gave you nine or 10 streams of income. Boom. Just like that. This is how you build a business from a book. We have some more slides to show you. I'm going to run through these really, really fast. But if you take a screenshot of this, if you're watching or if you're watching the replay, take a screenshot of this and it can help you. Now, knowledge. A lot of people have knowledge and learn skills. They learn it and they're masters of it. I think about somebody like, like an accountant, right? Most business owners, we are not good accountants. <laughs> I can tell you right unless we're an accountant and we start a business as an accountant. But me, I don't even look at the financial pieces of my business because that's not my lane. But people who are like accountants, right? They can do a book that talk about how you need to set up your financial structure when you are running a business, right? And they can do things like a PDF with instructions as to how to set up your business financially. Number one, you cannot mix your personal with your business. Number two, you have to open a business account. Number no, before that, number one, you have to do your LLC, get an EIN number. Number two, open a business account with your EIN number. Number three, so you can create a PDF list with all of the instructions for brand new business owners to talk about how to set up the financial structure of your business. You can sell that for $9.99, $4.99, $7.99. That's a low end offer, but this gives people something, right? That they can use. Then you can do workshops. You can sell mini courses like we talk about and then create a whole private group, a subscription group. Maybe the subscription is $24.99 a month and people join your group and every week or every month you're doing special things in your group that is going to benefit an entrepreneur who wants to know how to financially um, do their business so that they're not messing personal and business funds together, right? You can create templates for those people to use, right? How to pay off a credit card in 12 months, right? You can create something like that, allow them to download the template, put in what they owe and how they pay it off. You can do master classes and again, create online products. Do you see the, do you see what I'm trying to show you? Um, you can write a book about a solution to a problem, right? Some people can write about mental health, right? How, if I'm struggling in my business with mental, mental health, what do I need to do? Right? You can do a, what if list, and this is how you fix it. What if I'm struggling with that? This is how I fix it. What if, and this is how I fix, right? So you can create something like that. That could become a lead magnet. You can also train people on what you know so that they can train others and they pay you to learn what you know. You can also do um, licensing. You can license your, your business or your book or whatever it is that you're working with. You know something and you have a solution to a problem. You can create a license, train somebody to do what you do. And then so that they can turn around and that becomes their business. You can be a consultant. You can do again, in-person training sessions, online masterclass, podcasts, online products, right? A how to guide, very similar to what we just talked about, right? Private group subscriptions, creating templates, small workshops, um, inspirational. This is something that is a little unique because when you write a prayer book or an inspirational book or a motivational book, right? The next thing you want to do is do a guided journal. A lot of people who buy inspirational, motivational book, it's because they feel as if they want something that they can read. They can, it's a go-to thing that will allow them to have, you know, uh, clarity, 
um, you know, um, a positive mindset, how to get them through the day, how to relieve stress, all of that stuff. So a lot of people buy inspirational books because it helps them mentally right? So the next book, it could be a guided journal where you're asking questions, right? And guiding people into the answers. Then you can also do an affirmational vision board event. You don't have to do that at the beginning of the year. This can be done first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. And all you're doing is helping people with a vision board of what they want that quarter to look like. And you charge for that. It could be $20. It could be $19. And you create this affirmational vision board event quarterly. You can do a coloring book. A lot of people forget that. Wait a minute. Adult coloring book is a big deal. It's a big thing. And people sometimes coloring helps them to be really calm, right? So that's another stream of income. You can do retreats. You can do small group sessions. I just had a small group session that I attended on Saturday, right? And it's to show you and teach you how to create creative content for places like Instagram and TikTok. And my Instagram was like not up to par, but walking away from that eight hour workshop, I am totally energized about what my Instagram is going to look like, right? And it was eight of us. The class was $459 and it was worth, it was eight hours and it was so worth it right? So you can do small group sessions and charge a fee for that, right? You're charging for your content, for your knowledge. Um, you can do podcasts and online products, right? Talents, gifts, same thing. It can be taught. You can do a Q and a guide. You can do workshops. You can do certified co uh, courses. My apostle, I don't know if she's still on, but my apostle has a whole university online, and she teach you, she teach leadership and you're certified in, um, uh, minis you know, ministry leadership of min ministry of leadership, leadership ministry, right? But the certified course, right? You can take, you can do training workshop, again, subscription group, mastermind. Every one of these have online products because you should. And then mission and ministry. A lot of us don't think about it, but missionary work and ministry work, there's so much you can do if you write a book about missionary or ministry. You can create another workbook. This is what you may not realize. If you are focusing on mission, you can do a travel guide for international ministry. And listen, your book could be 48 pages right? It don't have to be a big book. How do you travel to certain country? What is the criteria? How do you um, acquiesce or um, insert yourself into the culture, right? What is the best way to travel? It's a whole thing. You can write a book about that and make it a travel guide. You can certify your missionary. You can do missionary training and certify your missionary. That is a, a, a level, a stream of income. You can do workshops, online themed product for your missionary or ministry, and you can do a retreat and you can do podcasts. And this is my last slide. For those of you that are business owners or love to train, you can, you should write a book about what you know, right? If you're a trainer, if let's say you train on AI, you can write a whole book about AI training and all the different levels of AI that will be, so that will take all of this wideness of AI and narrow it down into the specific book or guide. And then you can have a paid subscription group, right? Um, and then do a what if list similar to what we talked about with um, how to train others to model your example. You can be a consult, a consult, consultant or a coach, in-person in training sessions, online master classes. You can do products and you can do podcasts. So these are all the things I'm telling you that you can do with no matter what type of book you write, you can take your book and you can turn it into a successful business. Leslie, what do you have to say? I know we rushed through those things. That was so much content. And I can see if this is all new information to you, you may be overwhelmed right now and thinking, what? If you're overwhelmed, just pick one thing. Just, mm -hmm. just choose one thing that you want to learn a little bit about. And let's use podcasts as an example. 
You don't have to start your own podcast today, but you could start to learn about how to be a great guest. Yeah. How do you be a great interview? Yeah. Well, you can learn that. There's all kinds of things online and some of the classes are free just to learn how to be someone who would be a great interview on a podcast. People that have podcasts are always looking for someone to come on their show. So just pick one thing that tickles your interest and start to learn a little bit about it. And secondly, there's no time that's too soon to start getting an online presence. Don't wait till your book is done. Don't wait until you have your marketing call before it's finished. Get comfortable with going. You don't want to go live. That's okay. Start to make some Facebook posts on your own page, Instagram posts on your own personal page. Start to develop this personality so people, when they see Leslie's face, they start to realize, oh, yeah, she's the person that works as an author coach. So if I, you know, if I have trouble with my book, that's who I would want to talk to. So start to develop your presence, start to develop who you are, and then take a plunge and go live. Just five minutes, two minutes. Get comfortable with these processes so when the time comes, you're already a little bit ahead of the game. And there's no time like right now, right today, to get started with one little step and then add to it as you go. I love it. So we gave you over the last three weeks so much content about turning your book into a business. It is very possible. That's what we did here at Victorious U Press, and you can do it too. So I hope this was great information for you. If you ever need to get in touch with us, we have our links uh, in, you know, in the group as to how to follow us. You can always email me at Joan at Victorious U Press or leslie at leslie.vyp at gmail.com. And we'll be happy to share more information about this. Next week, we have a special offer coming up. We're going to talk to you. We're excited about this new thing that we just created for you. So stay tuned, share this broadcast with your friends and peeps so that you can get in the know. And remember, your pen creates an indelible moment of time that can never be erased. So own the pen, own your story. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. And we will see you all next week. Same time, same place with Leslie and I. Bye for now. Bye.